so uh, Nike has just uh, brought uh, on uh, the market uh, just a few weeks back uh, a fictional name which is called the Nike Moving Company and in today's video we're gonna have a look at a pair of shoes coming from this new range guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please make sure you're gonna press the like button and maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at a pair of shoes which is making part of this new uh, fictional name for the nike moving company so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as usual will come in this red box with the nike swoosh and the lettering in this white color on top so let's go ahead and take them out so in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at this very nice uh, color combination for this uh, Nike Air Max 97SE guys uh, Nike has decided uh, to bring us a new range on the market which is called the Nike moving company so according to their uh, website this is a fictional name which will uh, tell a playful uh, story as they are actually moving us uh, in their products which I guess in a way it's true so my first review will be for this uh, Nike Air Max 97 but alongside this one we're gonna have three or four others uh, at least here in the UK so the retail price for this one is 180 pounds and it will have a very interesting design and also color combination which according to the box it's uh, called hemp stadium green and ale brown and this one will have also an interesting mix of materials for this upper between some uh, synthetic uh, suede some hemp and some uh, canvas as well which in my opinion uh, sets it uh, slightly apart from the normal uh, shoes which they are usually based on so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for this upper we're gonna have mainly this uh, canvas material which on top of it will have some other overlays so covering the front part of the tobo section we're gonna have this uh, synthetic uh, suede material in this uh, brown color which will also go to the midfoot and also to the back of the shoe where it's gonna wrap the whole back part of the heel section but coming back at the front of the shoe covering the top part of the tobo section we're gonna have this uh, canvas material in this uh, cream and dark brown colorway which on top of it will also have uh, some other overlays which here at the top towards the lacing system will be reflective and as you can see we're also gonna have a very interesting uh, stitching uh, in this uh, brown color between these uh, overlays which apparently will uh, replicate the snail trail and as we are talking about the snail trail this will actually be the official uh, logo for this uh, nike moving company which will be present here at the top of this uh, tongue we're also gonna have this yellow tag here on the lateral side we're also gonna have it present here at the heel section and we're also gonna have uh, written here at the back Nike moving company on top of this uh, green material so in my opinion I would say that these uh, elements are actually quite nice and make uh, this uh, shoe a bit more interesting but going uh, to the lacing system guys we're gonna have a normal lacing system as most of the 97s so this one will be an undercover one which will keep in place this uh, round uh, white laces and underneath these laces guys we're gonna have this canvas material for this tongue which will also have this green accents on top of it and as i've said earlier we're also gonna have this nice logo here at the top of this tongue where we're also gonna have this small pull tab in this green color which will be the same as the one used here at the back of the heel section but continuing in the midfoot guys we're gonna have your normal paneling which in this case will be in this white canvas 
So this one will be present on the lateral and also on the medial side where we're also gonna have these uh, sushes in this uh, green color. But going now inside of the shoe guys, uh, you can see that for this one we're gonna have this uh, gray to blue uh, lining which will be completely the same as a normal pair of uh, 97s. So this one underneath uh, will have a decent amount of padding, but nothing special. And also at the bottom, we're gonna have a normal uh, foam insole, which this time will have this very interesting uh, logo with this uh, snail imprinted here at the heel section. And now guys, we can go to this uh, very uh, iconic, uh, and I would say also classic uh, midsole which will have this uh, full length um, air sole unit so uh, apparently this one was the first one which had this uh, full uh, air sole unit uh, exposed so in my opinion even though this one is uh, 26 years old uh, now it's uh, still one of the most iconic and most interesting in the world but as this one didn't get any improvement uh, over the last few years, uh, I would say that uh, this one is still gonna add some weight to the overall shoe. So as you can see, the midsole will be in this white color, but the air sole unit will be in this gray color. And now guys, uh, we can finish with this rubber outsole in this white color, which will have your normal standard pattern. So nothing changed here, which as usual, we also have this uh, bubble here at the heel section with this uh, Nike swoosh. As in for the actual sizing guys, for this one I went with my true to size, which I've also done with my previous 97 release. So as I have a skinny feet, this one fits me just fine. And I would say that it's gonna be roughly the same for people with normal feet. But just in case you have white feet guys, I would suggest you to try at least a half size up, just to make sure that this one is not gonna be too snug for you. So overall guys, this new release for this Nike Air Max 97 SE, which will feature this Nike moving company elements. In my opinion, it's looking quite good. And even the other which were released already are looking good as well. I mean, this uh, brown and the green uh, colorways are two of my favorite uh, colors, which I prefer them to have them on shoes. But besides these elements, which they are just for, just for the design, I would say that the overall shoe is completely the same and it will have your normal materials and also the level of comfort will be completely the same. So yeah, guys, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this brand new release for this Nike Air Max 97 SE. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days and as always i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching